And when returning to the United States from an international destination, some airports have the new touchless biometric global entry kiosk machines where you walk up to the kiosk, it takes your photo for facial recognition, a customs officer then calls you over by name and just asks you to reconfirm your name. And you're done. You don't even have to show them your passport. Hey guys, I'm Crystal Amanda, and in today's video, I will be sharing the benefits of global entry. So if you're trying to decide on whether to enroll in global entry or TSA PreCheck, hold that thought until after watching this video. So before I begin, what exactly is global entry? Well, global entry is a trusted traveler program, PTP for short, that offers both expedited airport security screening at over 200 departing U.S. airports and expedited customs processing when returning to the United States from international destinations. TSA PreCheck, on the other hand, only offers expedited airport security screening at departing U.S. airports. TSA PreCheck also has separate express security screening lines where you don't have to separate liquids and laptop, nor remove your shoes, belt, or jacket. Just place your bag on the x-ray conveyor belt and walk through the body scanner. Then collect your things and head off to your gate or shopping or whatever it is you do after your security screening. Some travelers who only travel or mostly travel domestic may lean towards enrolling in TSA PreCheck simply because they don't know what global entry is. Because let's be honest, do you even see global entry signs in U.S. departing airports? I don't. All I see are TSA PreCheck signs and lines. In my opinion, even if you mostly travel domestic or rarely travel internationally, global entry is still worth it and I'll get into why coming up next. So I'll compare global entry versus TSA PreCheck and go over the benefits that global entry has to offer. Global entry includes the benefits of TSA PreCheck. Since global entry includes TSA PreCheck, it's not required to separate liquids, laptop, nor remove your shoes, belt, or jacket during your security screening at departing U.S. airports. Global Entry offers expedited customs processing when returning to the United States from international destinations. TSA PreCheck does not. Global Entry has two enrollment interview options. You can either schedule an appointment at an enrollment center or select enrollment on arrival at participating airports. TSA PreCheck only has one option which you must schedule an appointment at an enrollment center. Global entry applies to land, sea, or air travel. TSA PreCheck only applies to air travel. Global entry is $100 for a five-year membership. TSA PreCheck is $78 also for a five-year membership. I mentioned enrollment on arrival as a global entry interview option, and this allows you to have your interview with a Customs and Border Protection Officer when returning to the United States from an international destination. And you don't have to schedule an appointment with the enrollment on arrival option. Think of it like a walk-in at Customs. Also keep in mind that enrollment on arrival interviews are not private. You're literally standing outside a booth while a Customs Officer performs the interview using the same questions from your enrollment application. So if you prefer a more private interview, consider scheduling an appointment at an enrollment center. Another note about enrollment on arrival is if you return from a domestic destination or have a domestic connection, enrollment on arrival is not available because you must get processed through Customs and Border Protection. A helpful tip for those who are already TSA PreCheck members but considering enrolling in Global Entry, you can either wait until your TSA PreCheck expires or don't wait and apply for Global Entry now. If you apply now and get approved for Global Entry, you will receive a new known traveler number, KTN for short. So remember to use your Global Entry KTN when booking your future flights so the correct KTN can reflect on your reservation. If you're like me and hate waiting in long security lines and customs lines and having to remove certain things from your bag or remove certain clothing, get you one of these. Even when I had early morning flights and the TSA PreCheck line wasn't open yet, I'm talking like four o'clock in the morning at the airport. The regular security line honored my TSA PreCheck and expedited my security screening. Now I can't promise that this will happen every time, but it doesn't hurt to ask the TSA officer when you reach the security checkpoint. If TSA honors it, they will ask to see your boarding pass first to confirm that you are TSA PreCheck eligible. And if you have a mobile boarding pass, just show them your phone. And when returning to the United States from an international destination, some airports have the new touchless biometric global entry kiosk machines 
where you walk up to the kiosk, it takes your photo for facial recognition, a customs officer then calls you over by name and just asks you to reconfirm your name. And you're done. You don't even have to show them your passport. So what do you think? For $22 more than TSA PreCheck, you can enjoy more benefits with Global Entry. And if you're a frequent flyer and not enrolled in any trusted traveler program, I highly recommend enrolling in one. But keep in mind that not all applicants will automatically get approved. Your application could get denied for various reasons. So take your time and be sure to fill out everything honestly and accurately. And check out my Global Entry versus TSA PreCheck versus Clear video next where I compare all three traveler programs and share my personal global entry experience from start to finish and how long each step took. Let me know if you're enrolled in any trusted traveler program and has it improved your travel experience? And how was your enrollment process? Was it quick? Did it take months to complete? Let's chat in the comments. And if you're not enrolled in global entry, will you consider enrolling? I'll also include the link on where to apply for trusted traveler programs in my description. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to click the like button before you go. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.